two ru'yas, there are two seeings of Allah. One seeing of Allah is on the day of judgment and the other seeing of Allah is in Jannah. In Jannah, whoever's in Jannah, everyone will get to see Allah. But some people will be lucky to see Allah on the day of judgment. Allah said, There's nothing more, but it's the love of the world, the love of the one that is close to you that you have. And the one that is far away from you, you're leaving that. This world is close to you, you want that. The next world is far away from you, you don't want that. There will be people on the day of judgment that will be beaming with delight. There will be people beaming with delight on the, on the day of judgment. They will be looking at Allah on the day of judgment. On the day of judgment, while Allah is angry with the rest of people, they will be looking at the beauty of Allah. Allah will give them, these are the close believers, those are very close believers, Allah will give them that chance on the day of judgment. You know Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gives afflictions to His servants in three things. In His self, in His wealth, and in his family members. This person is tested with things in his health, health problem he has. Person is tested with wealth problems. Person is tested with family problems. This family member is sick, that family member is sick. I have to look after her, I have to look after him. Until Rasulullah says, they come and meet Allah in a state that they, on their whole body, they don't have a single sin left. They meet Allah in a state that there's not a single sin, not a single sin left in their whole life. So you know, next time we get a complaint don't make it a complaint. You know, you get something happening in either in your health, in your wealth, or in your family. Okay, we want Allah to make it better, but deep inside we're going to say, Alhamdulillah. What are we going to say? Deep inside we're going to say, Alhamdulillah. The money that you've got, that money that you've got, is not your money. It's not my money. <coughs> yep. Allah gave this. Allah gave this. If I die right now, it's going to go to a third person, a second person. If he dies, she dies, it'll go to another person. Let's carry on going. And in the end, Allah says, I will be the one in the end. I will inherit everyone. I will inherit the earth and whatever it has. You inherit one another fine. In the end, the whole earth and all its belongings, you yourself, you are my inheritance, Allah says. My Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says, when we're standing, that is the first thing. The first thing that Allah will take to account from a person's deeds is their salah, their namaz, the salah. Where is your salah? Fajr, Zahar, Asr, Maghrib, Isha. Bring them to me right now. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will see if it's complete. If it's complete, okay, next fara'id, is that complete? Allah will not ask about other things. If it's not complete, oh my angels, does this servant of mine, has he done any sunnah prayers? Has this person done sunnah prayers for me, nafal prayers for me? My brothers, this, this age that we're living in, after the fard prayer, there's like a herd of cattle leaving the masjid. Drum 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 drum. Imam can't do his dhikr, people sit in there, boom, boom, boom. You know, he's sitting there trying to do dhikr. People have just, the Imam just said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And that, that second salam means, get up and go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and basically, they, they turn around and they see a whole row of haystack. And they're going, and they're knocking your shoulders as they go, boom, boom, boom. You know, there's really bad adab, really bad respect. You know, you, you got people, your own brothers, trying to sit there and do dhikr, which is a sunnah of the Prophet It's a sunnah. They're trying to do dua. This is a sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu doing dua after the fard prayers. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi he warned against people 
who at Juma times they climb over people's shoulders and they disturb them. There's a, there's a warning in the hadith of Juma. But nevertheless, you're sitting there, there's people knocking you, and what, what do they want to do? They want to go outside and just go yap 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 did you really really believe that you'll be standing here right in front of me and that you are meeting me just the way you are seeing me right now that one day you will come to me and meet me and be in front of me did you really believe in that la oh Allah I didn't have that belief I forget you today, I leave you today just as you forgot me yesterday. Yesterday you were roaming around in the car, I gave you. Pumping that music, I gave you strength, you took opportunity of that strength. I gave you a, I gave you wealth, you took opportunity, advantage of that. I gave you a wife, I gave you a house, I gave you all that and all you did is just forget me. Well, while you forgot me today, I forget you. And Allah will say this.